What's up guys, welcome to another Tactical Edge Tech Talk. My name is Matt, and on this video, I'm gonna run through a few of the basics when it comes to motors. Now, motors can be a pretty tricky thing, which motor to put in what. Um, so I'm gonna cover it down to sizes and what the different motors can do uh, for different things. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna cover, guys, is pretty much your standard uh, motors. Now, your standard motors are generally rated to 7.4 volt, uh, but, they don't have a high torque or a high speed sort of rating. Now I'll cover what that means uh, a little bit later on, but your standard motors uh, will generally are the ones that come fitted in the gearboxes of pretty much standard blasters. So you do have um, a various amount of different sizes as well when it comes to uh, just different products, uh, different gearboxes, they suit different size motors. Uh, I'll cover what the sizes are. So pretty much the most common that we saw about two years ago, uh, maybe before that, uh, in our old like Terminators and stuff, was a 380 uh, size motor. Now it was just like a little cylindrical drum, essentially. It was quite small. It didn't have much torque, um, and it sort of run like a bit of a tractor. Uh, when you got off the trigger, it sort of ran for a few cycles. It was pretty, uh, pretty weird. But so oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the motor sizes. Uh, there is a various amount of different sizes uh, in the gel blaster gearboxes. Uh, the, one of the older sizes that we were all used to about two years ago before was a uh, 380 size. And that was like a little drum like this big, it was tiny, uh, it had like no torque, it just pretty much ran like a tractor. So, but they've definitely improved over the years, which is, which is really great. Uh, the next level up was a 460 size motor, which we all see in our Gen 8 uh, M4 gearboxes, which is pretty much this little one here. So, it's pretty much got that same shape as a 480, which is that, which I'll explain what the difference is. Um, but our 460s in our Gen 8s, they're a short shaft one, um, and they fit into like a little motor cage. So, that's very important. Uh, there is various other 460 sizes, not so much in the motor size, but the shaft will change. Now, what does the number mean between 380, 460, 480? It is the frame size of the actual motor here so it's not the actual hole size but just this bit here which i can show you the difference right now you got two motors short shaft if i line them up together you can see that one is taller than the other so that one's a 460 and that one's a 480. so shaft length guys there is a, a big difference when it comes to them there is a long medium and short but pretty much we only deal with long and short so no medium. The, the long ones are pretty much in what we see is our version two sort of stuff, which is like your Gen 9, Gen 10, um, the Wells, Kublai, even our Protex range, all long shaft uh, motors. And then you've got other ones like the, the 460 and the 480 short, which will fit other things like uh, V3 gearboxes like our AKs, uh, the Org, and even the Vector has a 480 short. So what's the difference between long and short? Nothing, it's just the, the length of the shaft. It doesn't make any difference uh, to the speed or anything to do with the motor. It's just the application of how the motor is used. Uh, generally, the long shaft motors are put through like a grip uh, and you can adjust it for the height. Um, and the short shafts are generally in like some sort of cage. Uh, sometimes there is adjustment, sometimes there isn't, uh, but it depends on the product that you're putting it into. So if you, you know, looking for a motor, uh, you want to make sure that you get the right size and the right shaft size um, that you need for your product, uh, whether it be a 480, 460, long or short. They're the things that you've got to be sure of. Uh, it's then, that's, those stuff are just for fitment. So it's not for use, what's better, what's not. It's just those ones are just what fits your blaster. So there is uh, other motors out there you can buy uh, that will be like higher torque and higher speed, um, which generally more expensive, um, they're, but they're also higher quality. There is some poor quality ones, uh, so you gotta watch out for those, but uh, obviously the more you're gonna pay, generally the better the quality. So. Uh, I'll touch on high torque. Generally, uh, when you get a, a higher quality motor, you're going to be able to use an 11 volt battery on it as well. The standard motors can't really use 11 volt, they'll eventually seize up. Uh, so 7.4 is pretty much what all the standard motors, the manufacturers are designed for. Um, so the better motors, so high torque, you can use 11 volt, you can use 7 volt, as long as it's good quality 7 volt. Um, and you'll, you'll be able to uh, get away with uh, bigger springs 
from you. So to hire Torque, uh, if you don't know what Torque is, it's essentially uh, just power, just, just raw power. So uh, if I was to explain it in a different way, um, you know, think about it, you've got like a Suzuki Swift and you've just got the little four cylinder motor in it, so that's your standard motor. When you go off this big hill, eventually you're gonna have to have to, have to start chopping down the gears uh, to get over this big hill. But if you had the same car, and you dropped a high torque motor in there, say we just dropped a big V8 in it, and we went up the same hill on the same car but with a better motor, I'm gonna get up that hill much easier because the motor can just pull that car. The car's weighs the same, so when you've got, uh, in relation to gearboxes, and you say you've got the same size spring, you've got a standard motor, gearbox does what it does, you put a high torque motor in there and leave everything else the same, it's just gonna pull that spring and everything way easier. So there is other ways to do high torque stuff by uh, changing the ratio of the gears, uh, but this is just the motor aspect of that. Um, so when you wanna go to a bigger spring, and, and like generally the high torque motors that are on, on the market are for huge springs. So um, even like M100s, M110s, 1.3s, 1.4s, uh, most of the lower range torque motors can handle that pretty well. Uh, but if you then change your ratio of the gears to like 12 to 1s for instance, um, then those gears will probably struggle to pull a big spring. So you might want to put a better motor in. Um, moving on to high speed, pretty self-explanatory what that does. It goes much faster, uh, but the torque doesn't go with it. So you could get a big spring in your gearbox and you put a high speed motor in, it might pull it faster than your standard one, but it'll probably heat up and struggle a bit to, to, to pull that bigger spring because it doesn't have the torque, doesn't have the muscle to pull it. So it'll probably pull it quick, but it just, it'll just it overheat. You start draining your battery more. Um, but if you had like the right size spring uh, and you swap to a high speed motor, it's definitely gonna go much faster than uh, your standard motor. Now, when it comes to high torques and high speeds, there is different levels of it as well. I won't go into that because there's just different ratios and you know, heaps of different science stuff. Um, but moving on from those two, there is also high torque and high speed. So high torque, high speed has both of it, pretty much. Uh, usually generally more expensive again, um, but it can do the high torque, it can do the big springs, but it can also do it quick. So if you want a big spring, but you want it to go like a fast fire rate, high torque, high speed. You just want a big spring, you're not so worried about the fire rate, high torque. You can't have a big spring because your field limits you to 300 feet per second, you can get a high speed motor. You know? So there's, there's heaps of different applications you can do things, um, you know, whether it's for a certain type of build, whether you're changing the gear ratio, whether you're changing the spring, whether you've got to do certain FPS, uh, there's just so many different things uh, you can do when you build a gearbox that motors are a really good way uh, to you know help manipulate what you want to do so going on from motors though you've also got the types of batteries that you need to use with them so that's a whole different monster um, and which we'll probably touch in another video but yeah motors high torque high speed better than your standards um, but everything will be affected in the end result by what gears you're using what spring you're using what battery you're using so this is just one of the factors that goes into essentially building gearboxes um, and having you know the type of blaster that you want to run. There you go guys, that's pretty much the brief overview on uh, the basics of motors. If you have any questions about it, um, you know, feel free to drop a comment below. If you do enjoy this tech video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any uh, suggestions for me, please let me know and I'll be sure to probably do it one day. So thanks guys, I'll see you guys at the next Tech Talk.